tonight, if we're going to talk about some numbers, a couple to pay attention to. The winds yep. and the temperatures, and thank God you're on it. <laughs> it is, I feel like it just keeps changing. It's getting worse. There's a lot that keeps coming our way, and we fine-tune details all the time. And once we get closer to it, we're able to really nail things down. So far, so good. Things have gone to actually right according to plan. We've had to make a few tweaks and adjustments, but... Let's get to it and I'll show you the very latest tonight. The rain will be changing over to wet snow as temperatures fade back into the 30s. It's still going to be windy friends, but the wind gusts are coming down overall. There's the storm system. It's big, yes, and it is definitely powerful. The cold front that is accompanying uh, the leading edge of the cold air will be moving through here over the next couple of hours, and as that happens, we are likely to not only see the temperatures come down, we'll see a quick uptick in the winds, and then eventually later tonight, as temperatures cool, we'll start to see some snow mixing in. But for right now, it looks like our next big threat out of this will be some snow that will pivot through the area for tomorrow morning just in time for the morning commute. The rain is starting to show up again on the radar as this next wave moves in. Where you see these yellows that may not necessarily be indicative of heavy rain, I think more likely than not what the radar is picking up are some wet snowflakes elevated uh, in the sky. But we are seeing some of those returns coming in now west of I-71. This will continue to slide east as this overall pattern continues to rotate through. The wind gusts, as mentioned, have taken a little step back, but we are going to see them picking up again later tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, for now, the wind gusts anywhere from 35 to 40, especially east, that downsloping off of the Appalachians helping to uh, propel those winds a little bit. If we take a look at just the forecast for the wind gusts as we head through the night, you can see the wind gusts here and mostly look at the colors, not so much the numbers. The bright colors are really the ones that we're watching for. That's where you get those 35, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. And you can see we don't see a ton of that here in Northeast Ohio. But by tomorrow morning, now you're starting to see those bright colors coming back. Our wind gusts for the morning will be picking up to 45, maybe 50 miles per hour at times. Here's the thing, though. We're also going to have some snow coming down at this time, and it's probably going to be some wet snow. So I think tomorrow morning's commute has the potential to pre be pretty gnarly for us. And once the temperatures drop back tonight, we're in the 40s now, we'll be in the 30s and holding for the day tomorrow. But with those brisk winds continuing, we're anticipating wind chills tomorrow to hold in the low 20s all day long. So it's going to be pretty nasty for us. Here's your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. We'll stair step you through here. We've got the cold front that will be moving through over the next couple of hours. As uh, that moves through, the uptick in the wind, uptick in the rain, and then the colder air. So that by 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock tonight, we'll have some snow that's mixing in as temperatures are going to be in the mid 30s. We'll cool it back into the low and mid 30s for tomorrow morning with the gusty wind coming in. That's four o'clock in the morning, a snapshot. Let's fast forward to 6 a.m. now and you can see we have the possibility for some wet snow coming down. Our temperatures are right at freezing. So if we get a good intense snowfall, we probably will see a quick accumulation, especially on elevated surfaces. We had that this morning. Matt guided you through it. He'll be back tomorrow morning to guide you through as well, because I think that could be an issue for the morning commute. 9, 10 a.m., all of that begins to shift out to the east, but look at the temperatures. We are holding here in the low and mid-30s for most of the day as the winds continue to gust, and as aforementioned, our temperatures, our wind chills will be staying in the 20s. In the afternoon, we're not expecting much in the way of some snow. We may have some rogue showers here and there, but for the most part, I think the biggest hit of the snow will be in the morning, and then it's just plain on cold. And how much snow is coming? Don't get excited. It's not a lot of snow. It's all about timing and intensity. And I think it's going to be a visibility issue for many of you tomorrow morning. All right, this whole storm system is moving through the Great Lakes region. Watch it as it moves out. See you later. Rain snow mix uh, tonight, that snow chance tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, I think we're done. Thursday, remember we were talking about a clipper system yesterday. Looks like that may bring us a little rain snow mix. Not really too terribly excited about that one. But Friday, we get a repeat performance of today's storm system. Here it comes again. Yesterday, it looked like that storm was coming over Ohio. Now it has shifted west. That means warmer for us. That means rain. So we're expecting rain and wind on Friday. But that whole storm system is the one that's the game changer for the temperatures. Once it goes by, we get cold for the weekend. That means some lake effect snow, and it's really going to stay cold for most of next week. And riding right along the edges of that very cold air, 
will be some waves of energy. Now it looks like Monday into Tuesday, we could see a side swipe from a storm system riding up the East Coast. That's definitely still one to keep an eye on. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Notice our temperatures in the 30s tomorrow and holding will be closer to 40 Thursday and then windy and in the 40s with the late day rain coming in Friday. But there's the temperature fall 30s and falling back into the 20s for our Saturday. It's going to be great game weather, right? <laughs> Glad the Browns aren't playing here. And then next week looks frigid, friends. If you have to to do anything to get your house, your pets, yourself ready for cold air. Get it done this week and over the weekend because next week that cold air arrives.